All right, wind noise is gonna be a little bad today. It's uh, it's kind of windy, well, breezy out here. Is that a word, breezy? It is now. I wanna show you what I had uh, done. I cleared all of this and uh, it's gonna be hard to get an idea of the scale of what I've got here. And I packed a lot of it down this morning when I got here, but this is the pile I have to burn. It's getting bigger by the minute, man. But everything's still too green. It's not been hot enough. You'll see I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt today. It was uh, 63 degrees this morning. That's like winter time, you know, for us. I mean, I'm used to 105 or so. And so anyway, it's, uh, it was cool. And uh, this was really nice. No sweating out here today. Some of it's starting to dry, but uh, it's, it's going to be a while before I can get that burn. And uh, I figured I'd take you along with me. It's going to take me a long time to get this one stump up. It was a massive tree. It's kind of rotted, but I'm sure the root system's still very big and heavy. And I'm working my way towards it now. I've uh, gotten a tremendous amount done this morning. Um, I don't know if I had all of that done last time I showed you a video or not, but... So we're gonna try to get this tree. I dug around it. And I'm gonna try to get it up out of the ground now if I can. Might have to dig a little bit more to get this one up. Come on, baby. There you go. Gotta wiggle it. Gotta work that thing. There you go, we got it now. If you lay it on the side and use the weight at the top of it, it'll topple on over out of the ground. Just trying to drop the dirt off of it now. Get the uh, dirt off the roots. Well, that's a, that's a good bit of weight. All right. Well, this is the biggest thing I've tried to tackle. Uh, even the big uh, excavator, I didn't have to tackle something like this. I, I'm assuming I'm going to have to dig this massive, massive hole. Uh, all we can hope for is that it's uh, mostly rotted. Oh, that's not mostly rotted. I mean, it's rotted, but all right, this this is going to get annoying right here. I got to take this down. to do with something like this is just dig around it um, see if we can get it out of the ground uh, let me just grab it let me grab it one time here kind of on a weird spot where I'm not very even try to even this ground out a little bit right here get head on apply directly to the forehead head on all right let's see what happens if I just grab it It's in the ground pretty good. If we could do that though, if it's rotted down in the ground a ways, and we could just break it in pieces, that'd be excellent. stubborn tooth what we might have to do is dig off further away from it kind of work our way back to it I'm starting to figure out 
about the sweet spot for power and uh, all of that on this thing. Before, when I first started with it, uh, this particular tree would have given me a, a little bit of trouble, but I kind of got it figured out now where the power is at and so forth. of it if it's uh, rotted down there or whatever it looks like it's a little rotted down there so it's just big and heavy is all and I am pulling out some big hunks of wood here if it's not budging this thing this goes deep in the ground excavator has met its match right here I tell you what stump probably weighs about a third of the weight of the excavator well, the bigger the stump bigger the hole I just gotta dig a big hole that's all yeah I saw this in the woods the other day I was walking through and I thought right then I don't know how I'm gonna get that up Fortunately, you know, we have this thing now and I can just work with it and be patient. It just takes patience, persistence. We'll get it. We'll figure out how to get it up. Even if I have to get my son out here on the tractor and be on this thing and we tie chains to it and the both of us pull at the same time or something, we'll get it up. I'll dig out all around it and then we'll uh, pull it up. I might be able to tie a chain around it right now strap it to the boom and back up on this thing. I, I don't know, I don't know if I have, uh, if I pull the bucket straight back to me and then back up, I may be able to do it. I'm trying to get up under this uh, 
runner, this root here. Let's see where exactly it ends. And how far down it goes. Yeah, there aren't many trees like that out here except for along the creek. There's some really large trees along the creek like this but um, not out in the open. I'm very fortunate that that is the case. Okay, now that I did that, I'm gonna come around to this back side here. Well, folks, I got a little issue here. I was out there operating and the pin came out of the thumb. So I guess this will work for today and maybe I can get a new one or something. I don't know. This is uh, not an uncommon thing to happen, but don't go on it. Crazier yet, I didn't even see it when it popped out. Um, I typically, typically would catch something like that, but I absolutely didn't see it. Um, I'm hoping this will hold it without uh, Breaking, this should be good enough right here, the short one. I just happen to keep bolts and such around here. I just replaced this lock, little key the other day. It, uh, it came off. Boy, this is gonna be a booger to pick up and lock into place. Boy, that's, that's gonna be, uh, that thing's gonna break. I'll tell you what, how far through would this stick? If I could washer it, I need a really big one of these, you know. That's what I need. Because what I don't want to happen, I don't have my blowtorch out here yet, and I don't want these threads to get messed up so I can't get it off, you know. Uh, I was thinking maybe I could put the washer here and lock it down so that it wouldn't mess with the, uh, wouldn't hit the threads. Let's see if this is possible to do All right here. And I'll never find it. It's uh it's gone forever. In this soft dirt. I dug around for 10 minutes or so in the dirt trying to find it and uh, and I could not it's the only thing I know to do to uh, to fix it for now until I can get something uh, some better alternative there's gonna be a little bit of play in it now though and that's not good um, because I don't have one this size. I was trying to think if I could go buy a tractor store and buy a pin to hold on your implement uh, and use that instead. See, that's why I don't like that play, that play in it, but we'll make it work. 
just for today, maybe, if it'll hold on for just today. I noticed that uh, temperature is rising when I'm at uh, full RPM, and I worry that the coolant might be a little uh, low or might have a leak. Uh, radiator should be clean. I cleaned that out, but well, that's not ideal. But we're gonna we're gonna try to make this work, folks, and get this stump up. Folks, my battery died, and uh, I wanted to show you the last bit of what I'm doing here. I was just going to go with it for a while, but I've been fighting with this for almost 45 minutes. Look at this, how far out it reaches. And this root looks live. You know, that's not a dead root. So <laughs> it's put a lot of wear and tear on this thing. Just this one stump, but I got to get it up. I have to get this up because It's directly where the road's gonna go, you know? I'm gonna clear back in the trees there a little bit more, but so close to getting it now, folks. My goodness, that is crazy. I don't know what kind of tree this was, but I hope I don't have any more of those out here. Only one thing I know to do here, folks, that's gonna help me, it's gonna be to fold this thumb up out of my way. I think, uh, I think the thumb is just getting in my way now. Let's see if I can break it like this first. It's gonna turn the whole thing. That's all I know to do, folks. Um, I'm having difficulty digging because the thumb is wanting to catch being mounted like that. I think I can do a better job digging, put it folded up out of the way and getting up under this thing at a better angle. Ugh. Folks, boy, that cylinder's hot. This is the craziest root system on a stump I have ever seen. I mean, maybe a lot of trees are like this. You just, you pull up the stump and you know, you break it all off. But I don't know if this is showing up on camera or not. Let's see if I can find something to dig with here. Look at this. Look at that. You see that? All of this. Look at how far down that goes. Is that an ant? Oh yeah, look at that ant. Might be some kind of a termite. 
never seen an ant like that before. I don't know. I'm gonna stop him though. This is huge. I mean, this is all connected. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my chainsaw. Look at that. Taking the thumb and folding it back was key because I was not able to, uh, I was not able to get down and dig up under like I wanted to. Uh, with the thumb on but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my shovel and a chainsaw and I'm kind of running out of time today I didn't expect to run into something like this and um, take that chainsaw cut it right here okay cut that part loose cut this part loose right here dig it and cut it well look at how wide that is though that's uh, crazy you know I'm I'm 6'1 I'm standing in this hole and the stump is level with the top of my head right here and this isn't even the deepest place that I dug, like over there or there, but you know, the only thing I can think of is to leave this in the ground, right? Not even dig this up anymore. Cut it off right here and cut it off right here and separate that part of the stump from the rest of it. That's the only thing I can think to do. I mean, this is heavy. This doesn't look like much, but it's pretty heavy. It's all live. Everything here is live that you see in the ground. It's not dead. I'm just checking the temperature. That's the best idea I could think of how to solve this issue. It's, uh, it's a heck of an issue I got here. But with that gone, it may be possible to go to the other side of that stump 
and pull it up. I don't know. Oh, I hope my battery didn't die. I hope we're still recording because finally starting to get this thing to move. thumb back on so I can grab it. What a beast. What a beast that thing is. What a beast this thing is to pull that thing off. Oh my goodness. I did not think I was going to get that up today. I was just about to throw in the towel and say, folks, I gave it my best shot and it wasn't good enough. Oh, I was just about to give up and say, you know what? I'm going home. I'm taking my ball and going home. I hope I didn't get you all out of whack now that I moved you around. Uh, let me get this pin out of here. Well, at least the battery lasted as I was pulling it up. <laughs> I would have been so disappointed if for some reason somewhere throughout there that battery had died and uh you didn't get to see that after all of the fighting tussling with this thing i've been doing for the past over an hour now i've been messing with this thing okay uh let me think about this again real quick and how i do this and yeah, get this pin out this thumb is, is heavy too. It doesn't probably look that heavy, uh, but when it starts swinging down this way, it gets really heavy. Okay, now how am I gonna do this? Tell you what, let's, uh, let's stick this in there so I don't lose it. Goodness! All right, there we go. We shall overcome someday <laughs> oh man now I was really starting to think okay I'm gonna have to rent that 75G for a day or two to get this thing out and that's that stinks because that's expensive you know that's really expensive well, I don't know how much it is for a day. I know for a week it's uh, it's fifteen hundred dollars. You know, I think I'm gonna try it up here. I'm gonna try it up there and see what it's like to have it up higher. You might not like it. I might have to move it back down. There's probably a reason they put it on they put it down like that but and now well this thing does it have enough power to pull it out of the ground and just drag it over there that's all i want to do is just drag it uh, i'm not i'm not gonna try to pick it up but can i uh can i drag it This thing is bird already from uh, stress and strain on it, these uh, the threads on this bolt. I gotta get an actual pin for it though. I can't, 
I can't let this go for long. This is in the, it's, it's going to end up causing me more problems because it's going to snap. It's going to break off. And if it breaks off, I'm in a, I'm in a fix. I got to go get my blowtorch from my father's. And, uh, and a welding machine. I need both of those. All right, folks. It's a moment of truth. Oh, come on, little Betty. This is Spartina right here. That's what her name is. Spartina, you got enough horsepower to grab this thing and get it out. Oh my goodness. Here's the next big feat right here, folks, getting it out of the hole. Uh, I might have to dig a ramp. Might have to dig a ramp to get it out of here. Let's get everything really straight. And then when we come back out here, I got a heck of a hole to fill in right there. <laughs> That's huge. Now I'll just take the blade right here and I'll just push everything. Scoop some with the bucket in there and then push the rest in with the blade. I got a little pile of dirt over there and it will fill it back in. But that's a lot of filling to do right there. It'll take more than that. Now you see why I need, I'm in a big need for uh, loads of dirt in here because uh, stuff like this. If I 
can get that thing out of the ground, I'm feeling pretty good about anything else I got ahead of me here. I got a lot more confidence now. All right, there we go. It's got my, uh, my daughters over there in the truck. So sitting in there all morning and uh, she was like, you said you were only gonna be a few more minutes. It's been a few more minutes. It's like, yeah, yeah, baby, but I gotta get this thing out of the ground. I'm so close to it. have to push it the rest of the way let's see if that's even uh, going to be possible boy I thought I was gonna have like this video I was gonna have trouble finding content for the video uh, just really pulling up a bunch of little trees and I saw this stump I was like oh it's probably rotted we'll just dig that right up <laughs> look at the live root area how large that was on it though Definitely weren't just pulling that up. I'll tell you what, let me get up under it. I guess you see what I'm trying to do here, but it's so much weight for this little tiny excavator. Well, uh, it'll probably be okay right here. What I'll do is, it'll just have to burn little by little. It'll take a while to dry out, especially now the weather's getting cooler. Um, it's gonna take a while to dry out, but we'll just let it sit here. I'm in no rush, I guess, to really get it burned off. It's just full of water, too. Well, my daughter's ready to get out of here for the day. I know she's tired been here all morning pulling up trees until we got to that thing and uh, so I'll do this when I come back I'll wedge some stuff up under it in case it flips down I can get up under uh, right that would be good to have forks on my uh, backhoe of course the backhoe is only 2200 pounds but this is what it looks like folks uh, if I get down in here like I said, I'm 6'1". The level ground right there is about my chin. It's a five foot hole I dug. Now look at that, where I had to cut it with the chainsaw. Now, uh, the reason I gave up on this was, I realized not only does it go, it goes here, only who knows how far, and it goes there. And being as large as that is right there, it, it might go another 20 feet that way. Same on this one. So only thing to, that made sense to do was just to uh, cut it loose. Uh, but it's amazing that the, you know, the roots on that thing were still alive. Um, but I'm not gonna do this today. What I'll do is when I come back, it's gonna take that little pile of dirt. I might have to get a dump truck to come on in and bring a load, because uh, what I have here is not gonna be enough to fill this in, you know we'll see we'll see but push it all in get the bucket scoop it and so forth and we'll fill that in but look at that massive hole that i had to dig to get up under it so we could break it loose that was the only way there was no pulling it with the the size of that excavator if i'd have had a 75 out here i could have probably gotten it by just grabbing it and muscling it out the hole maybe i still had to cut those loose but um it, it's just the you know that's just the only way I could think of to do it was dig under it, of course around it and under it a little bit, and then you know once we cut those it was easy peasy. But uh, man, what a uh, what an adventure that was! I'll walk you over here to what we did the other day. I think most of the water is gone from the storm that passed through. We had a tropical depression come through here, and. Uh, Oh no, it's still a little bit, mostly gone, but it's foaming up down there, but it's not stopped up right there. 
you know, or it would be backed up. You'd see it, you know, uh, it goes right on out to the creek. But that's what it looks like. Now, I'm not too concerned about that right there because that's where the bridge is going to go. Right where that stump was at, boom, bridge right there. And uh, yeah, we'll clean all that out. We'll scoop all that out with the excavator before we ever put our uh, culvert pipe in there. But someone was worried about the amount of water that passes through here and, you know, what size culvert. You know, it's not going to be like that. It's going to be a big culvert that we're going to put in there. And we're going to pack down crusher run all around it. Uh, but this is about as beautiful as uh, looking at the creek right here. If you look down, you can see there's a little drop down. It keeps stepping down all the way back until it gets to the creek. And the bottom is sandy. The bottom is, is really sandy. Um, I was looking at this the other day. Look at that. It's just sandy. It's a nice packed down hard bottom. So we'll have a nice base to put our crusher run on up there. And, um, but that was the, uh, if we hadn't done that, this would be covered in water right now based on the amount of rain we had. Look at, look at how the water washed from over there down here. Look at what it did, you know? So we were, uh, we were really fortunate to have gotten that done when we got it done. But that was a good day's worth of it and got the biggest problem out of the way. I think uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go home and have a beer. No, um, we come out here next time, that old leaning tree, we're going to cut that, we're going to cut that big leaning tree, we'll cut all those, and then we'll, we'll just make it easy on us ourselves. I'll take the chainsaw and cut all those down, a little lizard right there looking for some bugs hey buddy there's like a bajillion ants up in that hole if you want to go get them oh this is a a piece of wood right there i just stuck this into it's a root but it was the same thing out here when i cleared all this just a bunch of roots and stuff you see you know what i pulled up from that one but i'll cut all those down with the chainsaw and we'll just dig up the stumps with the excavator you know she worked hard enough today she needs uh she needs an easy job or two next time we come out it'll be next week sometime today is saturday so it's gonna be uh it's gonna be a couple days before i come back but folks uh i thank you so much for hanging out here each and every video all your kind comments and your support it's just incredible and uh you know i i do this uh, I enjoy what I do, and hopefully that kind of conveys over to the to the videos. Hopefully you can hear it. I know sometimes I'm a little tired. I've been out here all day. I, you know, stayed up. I streamed the night before, and then worked, and then came out here, and it's, you know. But hopefully, uh, hopefully my excitement level for doing this stuff you can hear it because it really does it, you know i really do enjoy it it's just um I, i'm so focused on what i'm doing sometimes i kind of forget even though i am talking you know i still forget that i'm i'm trying to make some content here for you um so don't think i'm, I'm not enjoying myself uh just because i uh you know not yelling and singing and screaming and so forth so i really am having a good time doing this um, this is like a, you know, the American dream, I guess, or whatever. Uh, you get out here, have a piece of land, do something with it, develop it, and so forth and so on. Uh, to clean this out better when I get back to the uh, shed there. But folks, have yourselves wonderful day evening wherever you may be located and i'll see you all next time